Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or even extraterrestrial life tuning in from another planet, this document has changed a lot. Season 3 is now sort of in full swing. And you would have had a video prior to Season 3, but there does have problems arise. So here we are. But what's on the agenda? And not much has changed, however. But today we'll cover Season 3, what's here and what's coming, a roadmap of Season 3, what to expect in regards to the Zombies mode, and Season 3's creator call, and what else to expect along the way. With Season 3 now almost a week after being released, there's much to discuss from the creator call with the content creators straight to what we have here later coming in Season 3 Reloaded and more. However, Season 3 Reloaded is still some time away and despite what is planned to release, I'm not convinced we can say this is all what can satisfy the community in the long haul. However, this looks like a common theme moving forward. It's worth noting again, yes, this year's release of Call of Duty is led by Treyarch, which will also see a return of the round base mode zombies, but we still have at least another three seasons of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and it's just a bit tad slow for zombies. So let's look at the roadmap, and in turn, of content. I mean, you can't really argue that it's a bad update, considering it's three, at least from my opinion, the addition of six, six v6 maps being added into rotation i'll probably never get up to play or see in an actual matchmaking playlist but it's quite unexpected grind being something that very much interests me alongside emergency now i have played six star and i must say i was very impressed very good looking map and very fun to play too resurgence gets rebirth island and plenty new modes and features to definitely tuck into for sure. Who played Juggermosh, by the way? That LTM mode? That was great. And I'd very much like to see that stapled into the game. That amount of carnage was just so much fun. And to put it into words, it was, other than that, really enjoyable. You know, picking up that sword and going ham was very fun. But then, we look at one of the zombies and instantly you quit or close the application as everything, and I mean everything, as I've already mentioned, is in Season 3 Reloaded, as we already discussed. And nothing has changed, really just a rinse and repeat of old editions, but sort of reskinned. and whilst that is a harsh way to go about it, I just don't think it's enough. A story mission, a warlord, and schematic thanks for nothing we can already take a few things away from this and let's work backwards here more about schematics okay they're classified schematics but there's no likely addition to wonder weapons in terms of the arsenal but keep an eye out as there is a behemoth currently going in season 3 reloaded that makes the wonder weapons look like toys and then there's a warlord again something rather challenging but actually quite simple you'll likely try it once and never return to that ever again and it'll be added to rotation and that's about it the new dark Eva rift nothing new same old to do get this go there make that god open that bigger pool after already completing the main story mission and with this rift will ensure how you earn then the new schematics i hate to be the, the doom and gloom here but other than that season three that's it or is it now do stick with me here, whilst we round up everything coming in Season 3 via the Call of Duty blog, whilst adding in what else has been revealed in the calls and on the web. But let's dive a little deeper, as the Call of Duty blog has here, and if you're an oldie already around here, we do love a good blog post. So here we go. Content summary mid-season. The Dark Aether story continues. Take a chance on Jansen as a full-scale rescue mission is launched after the Doctor enters a new and terrifying region of the Dark Aether. Take on a third rift. The ethereal voidscape houses insanity-inducing horrors within, including a new diabolic disciple variant. Provide fire, support for Ravanov, and find Dr. Jansen before she is consumed by darkness. Season 3 challenges and schematics unlock prestige levels to acquire zombie challenges and gather 3 new schematics to aid your progress, including a way to disguise yourself amongst the mercenaries, deadwire your explosive weaponry and outlast the gas. Warlord Rainmaker, 
Hold up on Araha Island, this heavily armoured psychopath makes it rain artillery fire and has little regard for his own forces, though his compound is easy to reach. Stepping foot on the island with your limbs still attached might be a little bit of a challenge. New schematics, in addition to some highly classified schematics, are located in deviously secretive locations, all available depending on your success during the rift. The dead wire detonator schematic. Are you still shocked at the impressive electrical damage the dead wire ammo mod inflicts? Then you might want to employ the dead wire detonator and attach it to all your explosive weaponry, including lethal and launchers. Not entirely sure what I think of this. It's like kind of a filler schematic? Let me know your thoughts. Yeah. Golden Mask Filter Schematic, a prize schematic with a shiny hue and an oppressive long lasting effect. Gain a self regenerating gas mask for the rest of the match. This comes extremely handy for surviving zombie strongholds and surprises in the rifts. When I read this, I think of golden armor plates, but as a gas mask essentially. Not bad, but not something, at least for my experiences, I'm deeply, completely necessary. At least. But I'm open and keen to see how exactly it works. I just don't feel it could be taking a slot up in my loadout going forward. But I might be wrong. Sergeant Barrett Schematic. Your outcomes no longer need to be terminal when dealing with Zakayev's hired guns. Simply don the Sergeant's Barrett to disguise yourself among the mercs and summon a trusty merc bodyguard who shadows you to the end. I mean, this sounds cool. The mercs have and can be a handful, but again, taking up a slot in the inventory for them, I just don't see why. Maybe, however, the bodyguard merc shadowing you to the end sounds kind of cool. We'll see how it goes. The talk of the Dark Aether then. This third Dark Aether rift is just as ordinary as the past two. Expect a series of unlocked objectives, focusing on finding their tuning several relics, allowing access through the gate, accomplish these tasks to step into the ethereal voidscape and face the terrifying horrors lurking within, claiming valuable rewards if you survive. Squad up and help Operation Deadbolt continue to contain the onslaught of the undead. Then to round off Zombies part of the blog post with a good old Rainmaker, additional caution is advised when operating in the southeastern part of Urzikstan exclusion zone as warlord rainmaker has commanded and heavily upgraded the defenses of his fortress on raha island across the water from shanhin manor as his codename suggests the warlord is an artillery and demolitions expert and through his island compound is relatively easy to reach stepping foot on the island with your limbs attached as already mentioned will be more of a challenge. Expect mortal rounds and RPG to fire to descend on your squad with assault maneuvers made even more difficult due to the water surrounding Rainmaker's lair. Fast transport is recommended and once you disembark, try to ignore the chaos and focus on the fortress. Rainmaker's forces are expendable and he almost enjoys sacrificing his own men to take out intruders. With the fortress breached, slow your progress as the compound is brimming with trip wires and traps stepping on a mine at this point would be very unfortunate. Then prepare to change your game plan once you're finally corner Rainmaker. He's capable of some nasty surprises you won't be expecting. And that's it. Challenge or no challenge, we'll soon find out in Season 3 Reloaded. And I'd like to keep this part updated with the Vortex Limited Time mode. So here's what we know so far, making a return in Season 3. The pre-turn natural map variants, Airborne, Satan's Quarry, Skid Race, Boyard, and Tenetus, return in a special limited time playlist coming later in Season 3. The familiar Vortex Mosh Pit will be available along with a new arcade mode with a number of redacted gameplay modifiers to yet add more variety to your game. Expect the Vortex Virus mainframe event to launch alongside this limited time playlist. More information on the event is available later in the blog. And can I just add, this blog post is a chunky boy. So that'll be added in the description for those interested to go in great detail for that. But whilst you wait for a month or so, you know, for season three reloaded, 
Fear not, you'll have some prestigious to grind all your way to 650 and prestige first team this time around. So have fun going in there. And anyone that's already or is on the way right there, do let me know down in the comments what your already prestige and level is. And uh, whether you care about any of the just ranks today. Do you care about your prestige? Do you care about your ranks? I don't know. Let me know. Is it the same as it was before? Who knows? Then we move on to the creator call. And as reported by Detonated, we have exclusive. Treyarch has stepped away from Modern Warfare Zombies. They're going to work on another project, most likely Call of Duty Black Ops 2024. Zombies, while Sledgehammer will continue Modern Warfare Zombies content? I thought that was High Moon. Why Sledgehammer working on it? What are they going to do with it? Do they care? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that one. Then he moves on to say, Modern Warfare Zombies stash size has been increased. Currently 10, Season 3 will increase the stash size to 20, allowing for more item storing. I mean, come on. I mean, I, I like the enthusiasm, but 20? Maybe 50, 40 at least? Come, what's this 20? Rubbish. It's honestly... They, they, they took all that time to give us an extra cheers. Thanks for that. Brilliant. And then we go on to a little bit more of an interesting one. Modern Warfare 3 reduced schematic cooldown in Season 3 Zombies. X filling with essence was slightly reduced. Hopefully it's a little bit more than slightly. Schematic cooldown times. More essence means more time reduced. Interesting how they will go about that one and whether or not that will be exploited once it goes live and also prior to the season 3 release this is what Denade also wrote this may take a minute Modern Warfare 3 list of content coming to all modes with season 3 launching April 3rd Malls and Ball 27 6 multiplayer maps Godzilla and Kong Event Rebirth Island 100 tier Battle Pass and Black Cell Quick Fix Vest Capture the Flag Resurgence Champions Quest Spy Drones Contract Biometric Scanner Squad Rage Field Upgrade Varial Double Time of Day Weapon Trade Station Specialist Perk Package Foresight Killstreak 1 on the Chamber Minefield and Escort Playlist, FGX Horus and Gladiator Melee, 3 new Operators, 4 more Perks, Emo Mine and Enhanced Vision Goggles, 8 Aftermarket Parts, new Zombie Story Mission, new Dock, Eva Rift, 3 more Schematics, Frame Laker, War Mode, Blaze Up and High Tripper, Events, Vortex, The Rus, Mainframe Event and new Bundles and more. Brief. Just before we do dive into it and also to kind of the part of it, Glitching Queen has a video that's already up and if the video is already live then do go and check it out. Also it will be down in the description if I have a link to that with it being already live. That was seven hours ago so I imagine it's already out so do check that one out. But moving on, you can now opt to stay in a match after a game. No more lobby disbanded. Modern Warfare 3 New Zombies PvP mode will turn into DMZ. Leakers claim it will be a story mission taking you elsewhere with PvP enabled with respawn points. Weapon cases and more would be featured. What? Why? I mean, cool, but why? And if you if you're into that sort of thing with zombies being in PvP mode, let me know in the comments and why. Just why? And Call of Duty first. Black Ops 2024 detailed rumors for June 9th. Report state of Xbox Game Pass Showcase is set to happen with details from Treyarch that came via The Verge. On well, these upcoming skins, the Mangala and Disciple, not sure on that one just yet, look incredible with the Remangala already seeing a release coming to the store soon. And if you haven't seen already, here are the two current skins we've seen added to the store available now. If you want to go and check them out, do so. But that's it, that's all from me Cryptic, not much has changed with another missed opportunity in regards to Zombies content, a great update overall, and another Call of Duty game in the works. Let's just hope my schedule starts to get on track again, and we have a great Zombies mode coming this year, and perhaps we see an increase in Zombies content in the future updates. Or is this, and will it come to an abrupt and sad end? Who knows? I think the latter. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and slap the notification bell for more Zombies content, and join in on a talk over on the Twitter. But until then, stay safe, stay frosty, and goodbye for now.